everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are finally getting to trying a dedicated haul of Larika Matoshi clothing. Like it feels it feels underrated to call it clothing. Like it is so much more than clothing. Like I don't know what it would be, but like clothing is an understatement. Like this is art. So you guys are probably very familiar with the last name Matoshi. The Matoshi two sisters, Tuota and Larika. I've done two videos now on dresses from Tuota Matoshi and very different vibe of the two sisters. Like one is super like whimsical and colorful and very artsy. And then the other one is almost like, I don't know what you, I guess it's still like colorful and artsy and all that, but like they just are different. Both stunning, but different. So yes, I have done two videos trying to Ota Matoshi dresses. They are absolutely beautiful. And I'm actually doing a giveaway right now of those dresses. So if you're interested, go watch that video after this one. But today is about Larika Matoshi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not 100% sure, but I am trying. You guys have probably seen, I tried the infamous strawberry dress in my trying clothes that TikTok made me buy a video. And in that video, I asked, do you want to see a dedicated Lurika Matoshi haul? And I think you guys wanted to see it based on the likes of this comment. So that's what we're doing today. So I have not just one box, a second box, even bigger than the last. I did all of this ordering like two months ago. Everything's like made to order. So when you order it, they start making it. And then the shipping super quick, but the designing it and the crafting it, that's what takes so long. So this has been waited for. Like I've been very patient. I've been very excited. The excitement has been building and I am so, jazzed to try it out. Larika's Instagram is absolutely bumping. Like the pictures are beautiful. The designs are so unique. Like you have everything from like these gorgeous pom-pom dresses to like crocheted really fun sweaters. There's everything. I'm so, so excited to have a few pieces in my collection. Like I can't wait. I just hope it looks even half as beautiful as the pictures do. So I think without further ado, let's dive in to trying Larika Matoshi pieces. Let's go. Okay, so let's start off with the little box. Also, if I see them kind of like it's difficult to talk, just really quickly, like I have some mouth troubles right now. <laughs> It's honestly super frustrating. Like it's not a huge deal. It's just an inconvenience. But so I actually, nobody cares. But so I have to get four teeth taken out. They're actually my 12 year molars. So they're back here. Um, they never fully came in. They're like very high up. I actually got my wisdom teeth removed early in hopes they would come in. But my mouth is just not big enough to hold my teeth, they're just too big, so my 12 year molars didn't fit in, so they stayed up. So they're half in, half out. They get infected super easily. It doesn't matter how much I clean them, they're just bacteria pockets. So I have to get them removed, but right now they're infected, so it's quite painful. And then from there, like my tonsils have been problematic, and then my lymph nodes, of course, are like huge because they're like, what's going on in my mouth? And I have recession on my front tooth, and it's actually just like, rapidly moving and of course getting recession um usually if you want to you can get like a graph but to get in for that is like such a long waiting list and then today i woke up with a canker sore on my tongue right there so i'm just like it hurts to talk but of course i mean the show must go on i'm just saying like if it seems like i'm kind of like uh, da, 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 it's because i'm like trying to work around the ailments in my mouth but yeah on the grand scheme of life Everything's good, still doing fine, happy as ever, but like, it's just a little uncomfortable. But anyways, so I'm gonna start with the little box. One thing that I don't know why I'm so excited about it. Tuota Matoshi has tissue paper that like has her name on it. So I'm like, does Larika have like the same thing but with her name on it? I don't know, I feel like that's a, that's a part that really doesn't matter, but oh, she, she does literally the same dealio. The customized tissue paper. Oh. I'm so nervous with this. A white dress. Now I remember this one. It was the pom-pom dress. Now I did want the blue two-piece pom-pom dress, but when I went to order, sadly it was sold out, but this is just as beautiful. It's just white and a one piece. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, is this the only thing in here? Oh my gosh, yeah, this is the old, that's why this was so light. Okay, it's been a little bit crushed in this box, but it's all this 
very, very strong tool. Like it is holding into like pom-poms. I doubt you guys can see it very well just because the camera is a little bit overexposed, but it is a white kind of like a mini dress and it's got all of this tool on the top and these cute little straps and then it goes into the fun part. All of these tool pom-pom balls starting small, medium, and then big at the bottom. So let's put it on and see if in the other room we have better luck with you guys seeing the detail of this dress. Let's go. Okay, I feel nothing less than like a marshmallow cupcake. Like this poofs out so much. Some of these are a little bit crushed from being in the box, but like they're bouncing back slowly but surely. I think this shows more the design of this dress that I was trying to show you guys. Like they are little poof balls, medium, large, and like that's the entire dress. Like without this, it would be more of like a, you know, a basic dress, but with all of these, it's so unique, it's so fun, it's so whimsical. Like, what the heck? Like, I've for sure never seen these tool pom-pom balls anywhere else. It's like nice too because one of my concerns with wearing dresses is that it's gonna fly up. Like, this would not fly up. Like, it's stuck. And, okay, another thing, just an idea. Why have a regular bridesmaid dress if you could have this be your bridesmaid dress? Like, if you are planning a wedding, this would be such cute bridesmaid dresses. Like I shouldn't even be putting that idea into the universe because if I wanna do it, but like, I love you guys, take my idea. Probably someone's already done it before, so it's not really my idea, but like it would be such a cute bridesmaid dress. Okay, I guess that was literally everything in that one box. So now we'll go into the big box. Oh, oh my gosh, so beautiful look at just the assortment of colors in here we've got beautiful rainbow green sweater this oh my gosh let's get in here let's get in, get me in here the first thing that catches my eye that i just have to pull out is this beautiful knit sweater this is like so fun this is so cute this kind of reminds me of like a sweater that my mom would have made me wear when i was like eight and i'd been like mom no like don't make me wear that sweater and now i'm just like yes look at this sweater like i love it it's like so cute and fun we have all of these like I don't know if you'd say 3D sweater parts, but it's all these little cherries added on here. The colors are just so rich. Like we've got the blue, the red, the green, they really, really pop. And the sleeve is also like puffy and then singed. This just feels like the most beautifully handmade knit sweater. Oh my gosh, I just like, I love it. Like I really can't get over this kind of thing. Like it's just, this is a statement. Pair this with anything and people will compliment the sweater. I feel like that anyway. Let's put this one on and see how it looks. I'm gonna have to put on some different pants other than my sweatpants to really show this. So we'll see what it looks like on. Oh my goodness, this cherry top is so cute. It's so soft and like warm. Like I feel like it's really insulating me in. It's like the perfect length as well. These are like high-waisted jeans and they like perfectly meet the sweater. I also love the like almost, it's not like a raw edge, but it like curls up, which I really like. The sleeves are like a teeny bit too short, but like I think they're fine. Like I just hope I don't snag it on something or like, oh my gosh, when Chip sees this sweater, I'm gonna have to run and fast because he will want these for sure. I'm gonna have to protect this sweater because I do love it and I feel like it is such a cute statement. Definitely, you will see me wearing this a lot. And then I got these two pieces which are actually a set. I bought them separately, like you buy the top separately. You don't have to buy them as a set, but I just thought it would be fun. So it's actually the same pattern, but very, very, very different fabrics. Like this is definitely like, a spandex feeling and then this is more like a tight pant material but the patterns obviously match so let's take a look at the pants first obviously the pattern is beautiful it's got all of these like muted pastels mixed with like a few statement dark pieces they've got a little flip up on the end a really adorable button that matches I'm really hopeful that these fit like this would be a statement pant. And I mean, wearing the pants on their own is loud, let alone matching it with the matching top. This is also a turtleneck, so you know I'm gonna love it. It feels very, very soft, long sleeves. I think this would be really cute tucked into the pants, and then you'll just be like an explosion of muted zigzag print. But we'll see how this looks 
on. Definitely a little different than what I normally wear, but I'm excited about it. Dang it, you guys. I got these in a size two. And normally I can fit a size two, but these are just like a little baggy. Maybe I should check the size chart. I feel like I'm getting pretty comfortable with my sizing and I haven't been checking the size charts and like that's usually when things go bad, aka these pants are too big. And like my one critique on them too is like, okay, fine, they're too big, I'll just wear a belt. But there's actually no belt loop and it's probably by design because it looks a little bit more crisp. But like, I would love, like I might add a belt loop. Like you guys know my sewing skills. I'll just add belt loops. That won't go terribly, will it? Let's pretend that these are fitting like that. Like they fit great sizing lengthwise. It's just the waist that's a problem, but I'm just gonna look past it. Like just pretend it's like this, but really I'm holding it, so. I'm obsessed with this pattern. One thing I'm noticing is the pattern is like smaller on the shirt than it is on the pants, but like together it makes me feel like an astronaut with like absolutely no understanding of my job. Like in a movie, I would be like, hello. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> what am I talking about? There's literally no way that even makes sense. Like this is not an astronaut outfit. It feels like you're in some sort of group. Maybe I'm more like in a performing group. Maybe that's more what I mean. Not an astronaut. Cut the astronaut talk. Basically what I'm trying to say is I love it. Okay, I almost forgot about this piece. This is actually a kind of mini dress and it's got a poofy skirt on here. This was available in a few different colors. I ended up getting it in black. I don't really know why. Maybe because I just wanted some like differences in the colors. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got these jewel stars on here all throughout on the tool. There's one layer of just like normal fabric and then tool with these stars on it. Very, very pretty. The stars are a little bit scratchy, but I don't think they're gonna be touching the skin. So I don't think it'll be a big deal. And then the neckline goes up and ties into a little bow. And then there's a sweetheart neckline that you can see through the sheer starry fabric. I'm interested to see how this will look. This is not like any dresses that I have. And I don't think this is like my personal style, but I don't wanna only get things that I like, of course. I like to get things that I think maybe you guys will like. So we'll see how this one looks on. It feels good though, but I don't know. It just kind of looks like a blob of black fabric. So we gotta put it on. Okay, at first I was thinking I might not like this one as much, but now that I have it on, I don't know what it is. I kind of feel like it's the puffy sleeves because puffy sleeves are like the gateway to my heart. That's what I've realized. Turtlenecks and puffy sleeves really get me. It spins really nice. I might be flashing people, but like, nice. I love the length. I love the poofy skirt. It's so, so cute. It looks just like the picture. I think the only thing is a bit of this mesh where there's sparkles is a little itchy, which is just too bad. I like don't like when things are itchy because my skin tends to react like it's already reacting and getting red. And some of the sequins are falling off, but I mean, the look is very cute. And if you like it enough, it would be worth the discomfort, but that's just something I've got to note. But like this would look so cute in pictures. Like... What the heck? Okay, this one, I mean, I simply could not scroll past this little top. It's like totally sheer. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna wear it. I know I've seen lots of people style this and like, I just, I usually like to be covered up. So I'll have to wear something underneath it. But like, it is beautiful tool, rainbow, so pretty puffy sleeve we love a puffy sleeve this is like the perfect mix and i mean this in the nicest way but like whimsical and like kind of clown like obviously you would have to see the most high fashion stunning clown in this top but like it gives me really like fun vibes i guess we'll just see what this one looks like on it really just pulled me in because the beautiful rainbow colors like not one color in here is not beautiful. Like this could be my favorite color. This could be my favorite color. This one, this one, this one. So many beautiful shades in here. Let's put it on. Okay, this beautiful rainbow mesh top on. Now I have an honest question because obviously I love this. The colors are beautiful, but it is clearly see-through. Like you can see I'm wearing a My Nude Color bra underneath. If I'm like not wanting to show everything. How would I style this top? Like, do you just wear like a tank top under it? I'm actually curious. I don't know how to style a mesh top unless I'm going to bear all, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that sounds stupid. But like, I'd like to know how to style this top because it's adorable, it's cute. Like I wanna wear it, but I truly don't know what to wear underneath it. 
that doesn't make it look mix matched. Like if I was to wear like maybe a tube top under here, would that be good? Please tell me down below because I clearly need your guys' help. I don't know how to wear this. All I know is it's cute and I do love it and the color is really nice and it feels light and airy and you would never sweat in this because literally it feels like you're wearing nothing because you basically are wearing nothing. Okay, last but certainly not least, this was a big one, you guys. Like this is a full, I'll just, I'll try and show you. I feel like putting a product picture on the screen would definitely help because even I'm getting a little lost in this green wonderland. Like where is the top? Like basically how it works is like, it's like, a stop like what just like the first dress it's got these big tulle pom-poms on here but this is the top it's a little bit sheer which i actually didn't think it was gonna be sheer here i am buying everything sheer and then it just goes on and 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 on forever it's a ton of green tulle with pom-poms let's put it on okay i'm very lost okay hold on where does that make sense Sorry, everyone. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> okay. All right, you best believe I'm keeping my bra on for this. Like, it's super see-through. I don't know why, but like, I never really noticed in the product pictures how see-through some things were, but I mean, it makes sense. It's tulle, it's not super opaque, but like, it's definitely a little see-through. This is like nicely censoring, but <laughs> look at this craziness, you guys. Look at this long, oh. Like, nice. I need some more censoring back here. Okay, but this is a very extra and very, very unique dress. Like, look at how long this train is. And throughout this entire train, there is these big poof balls of tulle. Like, so, so cute. Who thinks of this? This is beautiful and, like, fun and very different. The only thing is I kind of wish it was, like, more of an opaque, like, it had, like, a lining to it. That's just me personally. You know what I look like, actually, in this? I look like a loofah. Completely. Like, you know those people who dress up as loofahs for Halloween? Like, I could literally, like, break it down as a loofah in this. This is the best loofah costume. And I mean that as a compliment, but like I do look like a loofah. I think it's very gorgeous, very fun. Not like nothing like I've ever tried before. I think it's very fun. What do you guys think of this one? I'm interested to hear what you guys think of this one because it is very loud, very fun, very crazy. Like even the fact that it's green, super fun. Okay guys, I decided to put this sweater on because like I gotta admit, there was a lot of cute stuff, but this is my favorite piece. It is so soft, so comfy, and I feel like I'm gonna wear it a lot. Like, you're gonna see this a lot. <laughs> to Larika Matoshi, I know you're not watching this. Uh, by the way, this hasn't been sponsored or anything. Tuota and Larika don't know who I am. I'm just their biggest fan over here in Canada. Hi, hello. <laughs> this video was so much fun, you guys. If you wanna see a part two, I will definitely do some more shopping. All you gotta do is comment down below and let me know you wanna see more. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know down below which piece was your favorite. <laughs> and anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!